Hey, do you want to learn how to make an ink motion for the slideshow in Filmora just like the one you're watching right now? Then stay with me, I'll show you how. Before we get started, if you're new here, subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos like this. Without further ado, let's get started. Right, in order to pull this off, we need photos, we need images, and also we need ink motion green screen, just like the one you see on the screen right now. Don't worry, if you don't have it, I'll link it in the description below. You can download it and use it. So, without further ado, let's move forward. The first thing we do is to drag down our images to the timeline. Have all your images, drag them down one after the other. Just you can highlight them and drag them down at the same time or just do that one after the other. So when you're done with that, the next thing we need to do is to crop to fit. We're going to crop all our images to fit the screen. Now right click and go to crop. Change the ratio to 16, 9 and adjust it. Go to the second image, right click, go to crop and zoom, change the ratio to 16, 9 and arrange it. Do the same to all the other images, one after the other. So when we're done with our cropping, the next thing is animation. So now let's start animating our, our pictures. Now right click on these and go to crop and zoom, go to pan and zoom and, and minimize or expand the inner box. So adjust it. Now we have two boxes here. One is for the start and the other one is for the ending. So go to the next one, go to crop and zoom, then click on pan and zoom, and then adjust the inner image. Move to the third image, do the same thing, right click on it, go to crop and zoom, then pan and zoom, then adjust the inner box, make it smaller, just the way you want the movement to be. Now follow the same process and do the same to all the other images, one after the other. Alright, now that we're done with animation, the next thing we need to do is to pre-render it just to get rid of the red line for smooth and fast playback. So when you're done with the pre-rendering, let's click and see our progress so far. Click play. I think so far we're doing great so the next thing we need to add is transition let's add transition to it so go to transition and drag in and drag and drop the transition one after the other in between the images now you don't have to be too specific here just go around pick some of the transition test it if it's okay you drag it and drop it in between the images one after the other so just go through it, test it. If it's okay, you drag it and drop it. You can change it. You can change it whenever you want. Just go through it. And you can also follow what I'm doing. 
just slow it down and follow and pick it one after the other. So when we're done with adding transition, double click on one, one of the transition and go to, let's reduce the duration to 20. Then click apply to all and the duration will be reduced to 20. Now let's see what we have pretty fast. This is exactly what we'll, the effect we're looking for. All right, we render it just to get rid of the right line for fast play back. When we're done click on it now the next thing we need to do is is to drag down our or we can add some effects if you have it if you don't you don't have to so drag them down one after the other sound effects when we're done i'm gonna play then you'll hear how it is so drag it and drop it right on the each of the images align it with the transition and move with the transition make sure you align it with the transition so drag drag it down one after the other and drop it and make sure you align it All right, now that we're done with that, you can go over it, just test it. If it's too loud, you can reduce it or you can leave it just the way it is. Just make sure you listen to it over and over again and make sure it's okay. Now let's go look for our ink motion. All right, it's time to add our ink motion green screen. Now drag it and drop it on the timeline, then double click on it and click on this very icon go to the green and click on green then you can adjust it and make it brighter drag the and uh, make it like six or so when it's bright you click ok now just drag through it and see what we have something like this so if it's not you can go back and make adjustment make sure it's not too dark now that we've removed the green screen, this is what we're left with. And just go through it. If it's not, you go back to that chroma key and key in and adjust it. So I think this is okay. All right, let's let's make sure everything is aligned. So if it's too this is beyond our video, just cut it off. I'm gonna cut off the beginning too, and you align it. Make sure the length is the same. Expand it and adjust it at the end. Now we have everything all together. Now the next thing, or the final thing we need to do, we can add background music to it. So go to your library and pick and choose any music of your choice. All you need to do is to drag it to the last time or track on the timeline, then and drop it right there. And you can make some adjustments. You can cut off any parts you don't want and it's too loud you can also reduce the volume just listen to it and have a feel of it so let's cut off the end click on the icon get rid of it now we have everything intact So adjust it for a, uh, for a smooth play. When you're done, 
click on that export button to get your final product and talking about final product this is our final product check it out If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so I can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also be sure to check out my other videos on this channel as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.